planet welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give me a like and make sure that you hit that notification bell then it'll let you know when I upload new videos and if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to take you along with me for the whole week from Monday until Friday and you are going to see what I have every day every meal that I eat so if that's what you're interested in then keep watching I'm eating my shepherd's pie and it's really really good I'll spare you the picture of it though because it's I must say it doesn't look too appetizing but it's really good all right guys I had to go to a hair salon and right beside the hair salon was five guys <laughs> So I got five guys for supper tonight, so I am going to eat it and in my car because I have a couple more errands to stop at and get groceries and then I have to give, blo give blood around seven o'clock and I don't want to go in there with not eating supper. All right, it is on Tuesday at around lunchtime and I'm just at work and I didn't have anything to bring with me so I just grabbed two of these pepperoni sticks and I'm going to have that with a Coke Zero. And I'm on maintenance, so some meals are good and some meals are just crappy. Alright guys, it is Wednesday and I'm having my first meal of the day. It's just after 11 o'clock, almost, sorry, it's almost 11 o'clock. I made French toast with some keto cinnamon raisin bread. Um, I get it from Low Carb Grocery. The website is down below. And I topped it with some homemade whipping cream. And I also topped it with the Walden Farms caramel, caramel syrup. And I also went in with the pancake syrup. Both taste really, really good on French toast. And then I'm having it with a bang, birthday cake. I had a coffee early this morning when I woke up at like seven. And I work tonight, so I am going to have this person who got me hooked on these were, was um, Keto in the Chaos. I will link her channel down below. She has an excellent channel. She just did a keto cut um, and I believe she did that in the playlist. So you can watch that series. It's amazing. I've followed her for years. Very inspiring. Such a nice lady. She's such a sweetheart. So I will highly recommend, highly recommend going to give her a follow and I am going to eat this. My supper on Wednesday night. It is about 5.30 and I just fried up some chicken as well with mushrooms and some zucchini. This is an Asiago dip that I get from Walmart. I will show a picture here of it when I get home. And this will be my meal number two for today. All right, I finished my meal and I'm gonna have a little bit of these which I brought as well too. They are pumpkin seeds, dry roast roasted. I got them from Marshalls actually they're really good really addicting and then I'm gonna have my no sugared added the Ross chocolate bars that I have a mint one and these chocolate bars are really really good and they are 18 carbs one fiber and 14 sugar alcohols which would make them three net carbs and I love them they taste like real chocolate the real deal all right, today is Thursday and it is a little after 12 o'clock. I am having my first meal of the day, which is kind of pizza in a bowl. I made pizza with a new cauliflower crust that I ordered and I will link that video here. So good. And I just kind of put it all together into a bowl because I thought it would be easier that way because it is kind of flimsy, but first meal of the day. All right, for supper tonight, I am going to have some keto lasagna. And my husband wants some for his lunch tomorrow, don't you, Jimmy? Jimmy! <laughs> and I mean, keto lasagna, this is gonna be one serving if I finish it all. I think this is a two cup serving in this, and then I'm going to have it with a diet ginger ale. And for dessert, I'm going to have half of this Lily's Peppermint White Chocolate Bar. I get this off of um, the Nutra Market website. They're really, really good if you love white chocolate. You will love these. So per serving, which is, it's about two and a half servings per bar. And it is 17 carbs, 
seven grams of fiber and seven sugar alcohols. So half the bar would be about three net carbs. So I'm going to have half of that right now. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. I am having my coffee. It's around 7.30. And I wanted you to know that in my, during the whole week, like Monday through Thursday, I didn't record my coffee in the morning, but usually when I wake up, I have my coffee. I don't start eating until later, probably after lunchtime. But I wasn't filming my coffee that I was having during the week, so I just wanted to insert this clip and say that I do have my coffee and it's every morning, usually first when I wake up. All right, so my first meal is going to be one of these chaffles. I kind of made it into like a clubhouse with some ham on there, bacon, a little bit of cheese and mayo. I'm going to have this later on, probably on my first break. But I will link the recipe for the chaffles up above. I made a YouTube video for three breakfast ideas, and this was one of them. So I will link that video now. So I will take this with me to work and probably eat it on my first break. All right, having my clubhouse sandwich with that chaffle. And I'm also having a bang energy drink on my break. For supper, I am having this ribeye steak that I just made on the stove. And I'm also going to have some of this salad that I ended up getting. I'm just not gonna use the corn or the bacon flavored bean flakes. And I'll probably take out the currants as well too. So I will use the cheese with that. I'll use probably about half the sunflower seeds in here. And then it comes with, um, I think it's an avocado ranch. Yeah, avocado ranch dressing. And that is what I'm gonna have for supper. And then I think I'm going to make some keto cupcakes as well too in a little bit. All right, I am going to make some keto coconut flour cupcakes. And let's get started and I will show you the ingredients that I use. All right, we will start with Two thirds of a cup of coconut flour, a half of a cup of butter, one cup of erythritol, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of coconut cream. And four large eggs. All right, first we will have two thirds of a cup of coconut flour. There we go, two thirds. And we are going to put in the baking powder with that. All right, and we'll combine that and then just set aside for now. All right, in another bowl, put the butter and the cream cheese together. Nice going, Dad. All right, so I added all the rest of the ingredients. The last thing here was the eggs. Sorry, I had gotten a FaceTime call. Didn't press record again, so this will have to do. Coconut flour mixture with the baking powder in a bigger bowl. And then we are going to add the other mixture that I just mixed all together with it. All right, I'm gonna add um, a half a cup of Lily's chocolate chips as well to this. The Lily's milk chocolate baking chips. And I'm gonna add in a half a cup. They are also keto. Now that that's all mixed, I'm going to put it into my cupcake liners.
right, so these are all done and ready to be put in the oven. We're going to bake them at 350 degree oven and we're going to bake them for 35 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. All right, so 35 minutes. All right, it has been about 30 minutes and I just checked on them and they are pretty golden brown and I did the toothpick test and it came out clean so I'm going to take them out actually. But they smell so good. I am going to let those cool. The instructions say to let it cool for about two hours for about two hours to overnight. So I may leave these until tomorrow morning and then take them out. Till tomorrow, I am going to end the night with some toast. This is the keto bread that I get online. I get it at Low Carb Grocery. It, the link will be down below in the description. I get the cinnamon raisin bread. And then I just topped it with some wow butter because I am allergic to all nuts. And this is what I get. It's just a um, soya spread is what it is. It tastes really good, but I've never had peanut butter in my life, so I can't compare it. And then this as well, too, is keto jam. It's the blueberry. Um, I've gotten the blueberry, raspberry, and the strawberry, and I would stay, say my favorite is the raspberry. Um, but they're all pretty good. That's just my favorite. I get these off of switchgrocery.com. I will link the website below as well in the description. And really, really good jam. Goes a long way as well, too. So that will be my last meal of the day. All right, everyone. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give me a like to let me know that you like these videos. And thanks for watching.